Global innovation firm Frog Design, founded in 1969, is probably most famous for its work on the Apple IIc and Sony's iconic Walkman. Nowadays, with the proliferation of social networking, oversharing of information, and general privacy concerns, Tim Lebrick, chief marketing officer, tells Telecom TV how good design can combat these new social media woes. The conflict between privacy and the benefits of being social, right? How much do you share? How much sharing creates value? Uh, and, to, and at what degree you know, does it intrude your privacy or it becomes just simply annoying? And I think um, you know, that's a matter of good design in the end. So it's a good you design choice architectures um, and you design privacy settings and you do it in a way that is actually very understandable uh, and easy to use and then I think you can kind of fine tune um, you know, the levels of, of privacy or of sharing. But to give the consumer the choice and make the benefits of either very clear upfront, I think is what um, good design does in this case. Facebook has recently come out saying that they're in favor of what they call social design, which is the convergence of design philosophy and business models. The social network has been repeatedly scrutinized over its confusing privacy settings. But Facebook wouldn't be worth as much if its 600 million users stopped sharing information. Well, I think if you still looked at a visualization of the privacy setting options on Facebook, it's still very, very complex. And I think if people argue that um, it really overwhelms the consumer and it doesn't make the choices very clear, they uh, certainly have a point. At the same time, you have to understand that uh, because of the social design that is at the core of Facebook, it's all about sharing, right? It actually creates a lot of value. The more you share, um, the more social capital is created. And I think, and you have the choice as a consumer, I mean, you don't have to be on Facebook, you can, you can, you can opt out. There was definitely a critical moment, I think, when the public opinion seemed, seemed to shift. Uh, and I think they made the necessary adjustments. I think, the, you know, the Generation Y, the people growing up with digital tools, I think that they actually have, have a pretty solid grasp of, um, of how to deal with privacy issues. So when Mark Zuckerberg said privacy is over, that was probably a little harsh uh, and not, you know, and, uh, too provocative at the time. But I think that um, from, a, from a Gen Y perspective, I, I think he certainly has a point. Microblogging site Twitter has had a recent redesign. Co-founder Ev Williams confessed at the Web 2.0 Summit how difficult it is to implement new services and features, improve the service, and attract developers at the same time. The more services evolve, right, and mature, usually the more complex they become because there's just, you know, feature creep, there's a legacy, it's, gonna, it's getting harder to remove features that users are, uh, uh, you know, uh, used to. So the same applies to Twitter. The only company I can think of that has very strictly really stuck with their principle of simplicity in terms of user interface is Google. I mean, Google really has made that a mantra and has really um, you know, lived up to that. I do think, though, that Twitter has done a very, very good job with the recent uh, uh, design changes. I think, obviously, they want to move from a, um, from a social network more to an information network. They're highlighting the news character. They're making it easier to consume. Uh, tweets. I think in, in general, I think that it, it was a little bit cryptic for the, uh, the ones not in the know in the beginning, the value of the service and how the service functioned. I think that it's definitely more accessible now than it, than it used to be. So I think Twitter has actually done, and it still has the simplicity that is so beautiful about Twitter, you know, the simplicity of the, the basic idea that lies at the heart of, of Twitter. Frog Design argues, of course, that design is incredibly important. Lebricht urges companies to own a distinct and branded user experience and create a frictionless and seamless ecosystem in order to succeed. In London, this is Leila Mackey for Telecom TV.